Hi, this is Spitfire from Rogue Guardians and Accident Scene Management. We're going to be talking to you about two-person helmet removal technique. This is the recommended removal technique from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. They say that you need two people for safe helmet removal. Now, the first thing we want to determine is whether or not the helmet needs to come off. There's really only one reason you would take a helmet off, and that would be if it interferes with your ability to control the airway. So I want to determine if there's a problem. I'm going to be looking, listening, and feeling. I'm looking for a rise and fall in the chest. I'm listening to whether or not the person is breathing, and I want to lift the visor to get a better feel for that. I'm listening, I'm feeling, um, and I'm looking, and I'm not seeing a rise and fall in the chest. I'm going to go ahead and remove his glasses right away. They would have to be removed in order for this helmet to come off. And I'm also going to undo the chin strap, which could be the reason that he's not breathing. Those can be pulled so tight in a crash that that's what's causing the problem. Now we're going to get our second person in place here while I get my vest off because I'm going to need this to fill the space underneath his head when the helmet gets off. So. I'm going to rotate the helmet into an inline position, making sure his nose is straight with his body. And then Tony is going to come in here and put one hand at the base of the, of the head and the other hand over his chin, not over his neck, but over his chin. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. And the lower hand is actually supported on the ground. I'm Pulling his helmet back, watching his nose. Are you ready to accept the weight of the head? Yes. Okay. Now let's make sure that the person is ready because there can be quite a weight transfer that happens when that helmet comes off. We're not lifting his head to put anything underneath, but we're wedging some material underneath his head so that when Tony let go, there was no movement of the neck. I'm in a perfect position at this point to be able to do a jaw thrust, which is the reason for removing this helmet. So I'm lifting his tongue off the back of his throat so he can breathe. I'd like to thank you for joining us today. We gave you a little information, but that certainly does not take the place of a full bystander assistance class. You can get more information at roadguardians.org.